Hey, Pip, do you want to learn something? No, I don't think so. Thanks. Suit yourself. <laughs> Greetings. Take care. Thank <laughs> you. 
You can't be serious, Torch. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. Had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts. Traitors. Now even the Pope is... God be with you, Henry. So I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsche spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> Who do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side to hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped it like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson, doesn't he, Fritz? You too, I love you. you. Should give him a proper hiding. Are you mad? Do you want to end up on the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge pile of manure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather torch it, to be honest. But, doing some tears all day. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Ratzik's sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? All right, I'll do it, but then you have to give me a hand with something. What do you need? Kuner shows money to father and doesn't want to pay. I tried talking to him, but he wouldn't listen. I need more than words to get coin out of him, and I can't handle it on my own. No problem, we'll back you up. Just as soon as we're done plastering Deutsch's house. I'll be happy to sort out that drunken oaf. All right, let's go while Deutsch is still sitting safely in the tavern. Welcome, Henry. So are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? The Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah.
What do you want, lad? I just went by the tavern and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exceptions, so I thought... God almighty! The fool! Next thing he'll start on about the Popes! He might have mentioned the Popes too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For king and country, my ass! This is all good, clean, fun! <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund! Woohoo! Eat shit, doshes! You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, hands! Can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in the tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Horse hunt! I'll make those smites off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this poxy doisha? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. <laughs> Fucker! I'll make you pay for that! Run to God be with you, Henry. May the Lord not hold you.
Well, we sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. Anyway, nice job at the Deutsches. Never a dull moment with you lot. <laughs> I need a hand with Kunesh. Sure, mate. You helped us, so we'll help you. Let's get to it, then. Kunesh! Get out here, you old goat! I've something to show you! How are you? What the fuck are you here for? You want me to take a whip to you or call a catch pole? Just try it, you old drunk. Oh. <sighs> you asked for it. <sighs> oh dear. Oh. Enough! Enough! I give up. Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? All right, blacksmith's boy, you got the better of me. Take what you want, but you haven't heard the last of this. All right, blacksmith's boy, you got the better of me. Take what you want.
torch will help. Hey, Henry's come to see us. Then you'll need a wreck. Hail to the hero. So you haven't changed your mind about learning the craft of warfaring. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Yes. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. So, can we get started? We can. Good. And since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Yeah, fine. Yeah, nice. Yeah, not bad. Again, not bad. Again. Not bad. Again. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Good. Not bad. Again. All right. Good, good. 
Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. Good day. God save, my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Your beauty, of course. <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Here you are. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty-looking fellow was asking after you. Vanyak? I suppose. He is a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. 
What use will that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Hal, I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favourite, Savior Schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have charcoal, the hilt and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master in Sassau did for us. Look at that, lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damned if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. I'm not sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. He was here with the catchpole earlier, and it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. And we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? <laughs> the boy gets caught making a fool of himself and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and what? You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. The furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip.
I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Do it. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university, and all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. It's magnificent. Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Henry, are you all right? 